This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at audio fundamentals inside Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I define basic audio terminology. Specifically, human hearing, sample rate, bit depth, frequency response, and audio file types. Human hearing is the range measured in cycles per second, or hertz, of normal human hearing. Generally, this ranges from 20 to 20,000 hertz. This audio range, also called 20 to 20, is the frequency response of normal human hearing, where normal is defined as the hearing you have when you're 18 years old. Every sound, whether it's noise, music, or speech, uses a combination of frequencies within this spectrum that allow us to hear it. There's only one frequency range, and every sound shares it. Sample rate is the number of digital recordings made per second. If we take 50% of the sample rate, that equals the highest playable frequency. This is measured in samples per second, generally 48,000 or 44,100. For example, a sample rate of 48,000 samples per second yields a maximum frequency of 24,000 hertz, which exceeds normal human hearing. While sample rate determines frequency response, bit depth determines the amount of variation between the softest and the loudest portion of a clip. Audio is described as 8-bit, 16-bit, or 32-bit depth, and 16-bit depth or more is fine. Most audio for video is recorded at a sample rate of 48K at 16-bit depth in stereo. Now, I've mentioned frequency response. Frequency response is the range of frequencies that are recorded, processed, or played back by a device. Look at the chart on the right. This came from a, a microphone. And you want a microphone or a, a monitor speaker to have as flat a frequency range as possible. Now, this is a logarithmic chart starting at 20 cycles at the low end to 20,000 cycles at the high end. And we can see that it rolls off a bit below, oh, about 100 cycles. Then it's flat from 100 cycles to about 4,000 cycles. And it has a bump in the high frequencies from, say, 5,000 to 10,000 cycles and rolls off again from 10,000 to 20,000. Human speech is the range from roughly 200 cycles to roughly 7,000 cycles. And here, you want a microphone to be as flat as possible. Vowels are low-frequency sounds that give a voice its warmth and individuality. Consonants are high-frequency sounds that allow us to distinguish words. That is, consonants provide speech with clarity. The three most common audio file types are mono, dual-channel mono, and stereo. A mono file is an audio file consisting of a single audio channel, which is most often used for recording speech or single instruments. Mono audio is the easiest to manipulate during a mix. Dual channel mono is an audio file consisting of two or more audio channels where there is no left-right relationship between the channels. This is most often used for recording interviews where the host is on one channel, the guest is on another, or multiple actors on set where the mic of each actor is assigned to its own channel in the recording. Stereo is a two-channel audio file where the sounds are panned spatially between the left and right speakers. Mono and dual-channel mono are most often used for recording, while stereo is most often used for distribution. While there are a large number of audio codecs and formats, the three most popular are WAV, AIF, and MP3. A WAV file is an uncompressed, high-quality audio format that's currently the default for both Premiere and Final Cut Pro 10. This is also a standard audio format for both Windows and Mac systems. AIF is an uncompressed, high-quality audio format that was popular on earlier versions of the Mac OS. AIF and WAV files have exactly the same audio data. They just have different file headers. And an MP3 is a highly compressed audio format best suited for distribution, not for recording or editing. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at audio fundamentals inside Apple's Final Cut Pro 10. 
For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 232. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and easy to view. Plus, premium members can now access sample media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it several times a month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.